Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, to answer a question that is seems, seems simple, but uh, might not be that simple. And depending on how you use your PC, uh, the amount of RAM that you have is the same for everyone. Now, there is, of course, a amount of RAM that is not enough. There is an amount of RAM that could be okay. There's kind of a recommended amount of RAM. And yes, there's such thing as having too much RAM also. Um, it, it happens, and we've seen cases where having way too much that's unused actually even slows down the PC at some point a little bit. So, first of all, how do you know how much RAM you got? Right-click on your Start Menu button, go into the Task Manager. Here, you'll go into the Performance tab and into Memory. Here, on the top right, you'll have a number. That number is the amount of memory your computer has. In my case, 16 gigabytes. Now, computers today are sold with 4, 8, or 16 in general. Depending on the price you have paid, it might have 4, it might have 8, it might have 16. But how much is enough and how much is not enough? 4 gigabytes, honestly, for somebody that doesn't do much with his PC except, you know, emails, internet, watching videos, stuff like that, will often be enough. But it adds, it's really at the lower limit. The recommended RAM that I will often say if you buy a PC is look at a, a, a machine that has at least 8 gigabytes. 8 gigabytes Windows runs really well. And for most people, that's more than enough. And of course, then there's heavier applications, gamers, then you might want to have more than that. Uh, in my case, I chose a machine with 16 because I game and 16 does help in gaming. Now, when you look at this, you have a graph and it tells you how much memory you are using, how much is available. And you might think, what's the normal here? What is, um, you know, is, is there too much memory used? There's unfortunately a lot of old information about memory that is completely false. One of the most common things, and I still hear today, is, oh, well, you know, you have to keep that RAM usage to the lowest amount possible. No, you don't. You want your RAM to be used as much as possible because it is the fastest memory in your machine. It's the way the exchange is the fastest between different apps and the CPU and in your computer in general. That's why we store a lot of things in the RAM when your computer is working. But there are signs that your computer might not have enough RAM. And that sign could be in everyday usage. If you look at this task manager in the memory, if your computer is stuck at 80% or more RAM usage all the time, maybe it's time to get more RAM. Um, usually you'll see that more in a system that has 4 gigabytes of RAM. But depending on the applications you use, it's surprising uh, what can happen. Notice that every time you click and open something, every time a program has to run, okay, like look at my RAM usage, my RAM go, uh, goes up. There's RAM that's being used for all of that. And the more apps in the background open, the more things are going to use RAM. And of course, there's a moment where you might reach a very high level. If you do and do reach a high level very regularly. Think about investing in more RAM. One sign that you don't have enough RAM also is a slowdown of your computer. If your computer slows down over time, go look at the memory usage. Look at how much RAM you're using compared to the amount that you have. Once again, if it's very high, it has a hard time. When computer runs out of RAM memory, it has to compensate with the hard drive. Now, today's SSDs, if you have an SSD, are pretty fast. Still, you'll notice a slowdown. If you have a regular hard drive, a good old hard drive, mechanical hard drive, you'll notice even more of a slowdown because what it lacks in memory, it will try to compensate with the hard drive space. And that is not as fast as RAM memory in general. So that's why you have to keep an eye on that. If your computer runs slow, um, knowing how much RAM you're using, 
for the machine you have um, could be a good idea. Typically, if you have four, maybe upgrading your machine to eight will be a good idea, and so on. Eight to 16. All again, it all depends on what you do. Wanting for sure if you have less than four gigabytes of RAM, I don't care what the minimum requirements of Windows tells you is okay. It's not enough. Four gigabytes is really the absolute minimum. And optimum, eight. With eight, you're, for most people, it's more than enough, more than they'll ever need for the lifetime of their computer in general. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.